Hello, I'm Dr. Ed Hug, an optometrist. I've been practicing optometry for over 30 years and specializing in evaluating people that have lost vision due to head trauma, uh, stroke, and eye disease. Uh, majority of the people that I see are have lost vision due to eye disease. And one of the main ones that I see on a routine basis is macular degeneration. Uh, macular degeneration, also called AMD, uh, is uh, prevalent to the point of uh, around one in four people over the age of 70 having macular degeneration. And uh, there are other diseases that are very similar to it, like Stargardt's disease. But who are at risk? Who's at risk for uh, macular degeneration? Well, the one risk factor is age. As we get older, you can develop macular degeneration. Uh, if it's a family history of macular degeneration, you're more likely to get it. If you've smoked in the past, even if you haven't smoked for years, you still have a higher risk for developing macular de degeneration. And we'll, we're gonna be talking later this month uh, about some of the risk factors and, and what to look for. Um, you can be tested for it, fairly easy to test for if, with a comprehensive eye exam and some other additional uh, diagnostic tools that we have. Uh, some of the signs of macular degeneration, uh, one of the main ones that we see is uh, uh, people complain of distorted lines. You may be looking at a telephone line or uh, Venetian blinds, you notice a distortion or distortion of uh, printed material. Maybe uh, certain words or parts of words are missing or have difficulty making out certain letters. Uh, and there's many other signs that we'll talk about. Uh, causes, uh, there are many causes of it. Uh, some of them are genetic and some environmental, but whether you're a crafter, whether you are on a computer all the time, uh, whether you uh, uh, are outdoors, uh, exposed to blue light, uh, there's many things that can contribute to that and we'll be talking about that. In fact, watch our content this month. The content this month is dedicated to all the things we talked about, who's at risk, uh, testing for macular degeneration, signs, causes, and some things you can put in place now so that you don't have to sit in my exam chair someday in the future, because I'd rather you preserve your vision and have a lifelong uh, time of good vision to be able to see your grandkids' faces and those you love. So keep watching out for us. Look forward to seeing you. Questions, please leave them here for us. We'd love to answer those for you.